we have a neighbor uh, also working here in Japan and then mm. my my mom asked her as his mother how did he came here in Japan and then he said that you can come here through study now pay later program oh. in the Philippines you have that but in the other agencies it's all free Japanese company paid the agencies to uh, make the, the people or the students study Nihonga and then study skills. And then when they finish or pass the exam, Japanese company will choose to that students. Cool. Yeah. So the first program that your, your, your neighbor did was sort of you go study in Japan, you don't pay, and when you start working, you pay back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the second program, you basically is sponsored by the Japanese government and you learn Japanese and then the companies will just hire you because they want... It is supposed to be Japanese company will pay all, but oh. that specific school, it's study now, pay later. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why, but but that school I I entered, it's just like that. Cool. Study now, so pay you later. started studying Japanese back in the Philippines. Yeah. And at some point you were like, okay, now I have to, to follow this dream. I need to go to Japan. Yeah, 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 yeah. Six months... Six months learning Nihongo, N5 and N4, basic Nihongo. And then after that, if we pass the exam, we can proceed to the skills. At first, uh, when we do the initial interview, we have to pick top three, top three skills we want to do here in Japan or we want to work. And then at first, I want to be a painter. Cool. <laughs> but but suddenly it's a job for man only so it's really? not a choice for me you cannot be a painter as a woman yeah uh, i can be back but the chances of getting hired is low oh. that's why it's not an option for me okay and then i heard the word machining it sounds cool to me <laughs> that's why i chose machining Ma as my first choice okay i don't even know what, what machine? Uh, yeah, no, no, no. I don't even know what it is. It just sounds cool to me. That's why I chose machining. And then my second one is electronics. And then third is anything. Anything they can offer me. And then I was chosen to be a machining student. That's so how it started. Is it this uh, technical training visa that yeah. you then uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. got? Technical intern training okay. program. The so ATP. You apply for this, you get this visa to learn one of your three choices. So you got your first yeah. choice, machinist. Yeah, yeah. Machining. I was chosen. I don't know why. I don't have any experience. But for that one year, six months is skill and then six months Nihongo. Mm -hmm. uh, Nihongo first and then skills. So six months J Japanese in the Philippines. And you come to Japan, six months Japanese. No, no, no. no. In the Philippines. All, all in the Philippines. All so. in the Philippines. We also have... NC2, do you know what NC2 is? Mm -hmm. National Certificate 2. Okay. It's like a uh, international certificate we have to pass. We did a, uh, I know, we did a, uh, what do you call that? Bolt and nuts. It's like this big. Bolt and nuts, we do it by raw steel. We do it by late machine ourselves. Wow. Yeah, so if you, we don't do that, <laughs> we don't get the certificate. So you get the, the actual thing and you need to do this yeah. fast in a specific time yeah. in a specific way. Yeah, we learn from basic up to that point. It's so hard. And you pass the <laughs> test and then you get yeah. to go to Japan. Yeah. So do you get to choose where you go? And no. No. Japanese company will choose us. Okay. It's like a pageant. <laughs> a pageant? Yeah, it's like a pageant for me because uh, people, students with higher grades or higher grades in skills and Hongo will have a higher chance to be picked up by the Japanese company. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's like that. Very tough. Mm. Tough competition. Yeah. yeah. And then the company picked you and yeah. sent you to Nagano. Some companies, some companies will come to our school and then... Uh, Pick, for example, pick 10 students and then they interview. And then if, if they pass, okay, they will go to Japan. And some, if they're not pass, they will study, study, study until they pass the exams mm -hmm. or the interview from the Japanese. Can you tell me about the company that picked you? In 
case of our company, we don't know why we, why they chose us because they just pick four. Mm-hmm. They do not, they do not do an interview for us. They just pick our names and then okay, you'll be in this company. We don't know why, but it de- it really depends on Japanese companies. So how did you feel the day you received this kind of letter <laughs> and someone told you, all right, you got hired by this company it's, and you're going to Nagano? It's like the happiest, one of the happiest moments of our lives because it's really tough there. We came to the dorm. It's stay in for that one year. Every weekend, we got to go out. We have a form. We have a curfew. If we don't come back with that care for you that's it you're gone you're gone. gone that's very strict you have warning three times if you have exit that warning batsu go home so going through these schools is not an easy job it's not an easy and job. then when you finally get this letter it's like yes yeah. i made it yeah you have to be good for that period of time so and hard once you heard you are going to nagano did you know anything about Nagano and where it was <laughs> and where you're going? We look up through the internet and then we saw that uh, no, there, there is no, that's why we're happy. Ah. Philippines, in the Philippines, we, have, we don't have snow, no that's snow. why. And then we, when we search up and there is snow, we, we were so glad. Great, snow, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> and, s- and then when we came there in Nagano, it was so quiet. It was so quiet. We didn't expect. Yeah, yeah. We have no choice because it's our choice. <laughs> it's our will to work here. Mm-hmm. That's the only way. And that that company chose us. us but we're still thankful. At least we're in Japan. <laughs> At least you're in Japan. 